Yes, hello. Over the past month, I had the honor uh, to create again the creative track. We had an enormous amount of applications, and uh, it was hard to select the best ones. We also were searching worldwide, also in China and the US, to find the best creatives for you and the best case studies. Um, yeah. So in the creative business, in the agency business, uh, the digital age has brought to us new business models. And we are looking for uh, creatives who spearhead innovation, who pioneer brand communication. Uh, with agencies, even with the new business models, it's still about the big idea. And uh, we look at best case studies, and it's still in advertising about the brand value. So we came up with three sessions today. The first session is this afternoon at 1.30 p.m. back in this room here. It's about the DNA of the post-digital agencies. Um, the second slot is at 3.30, people power. With people power, I will go deeper into this later, uh, we are looking especially in emerging markets uh, where social media has become to social business, digital, non-digital. And last but not least, there you have to take a hard decision because in the creative room next is people's power and here it's about developing new tools. We're really going to go deep into the post-digital. So our first session, the DNA of the post-digital agency, it will face the questions, key challenges, business opportunities in the digital revolution, and uh, mainly about redefining core business. Like for the agencies, it really has become a huge challenge. And for that slot, um, we have created a panel where we invited five um, representatives of great agencies. So it will be, uh, the main questions will be about new team structures. Do agencies need new hierarchies? Um, also, the workflow in agencies has changed. So it's um, the workflow and also certainly we're going to look at the business models because the pressure on margin has really changed for the creative industry. For this very first slot here in the room next door at 1.30, our guests and panelists will be Martin Gassner. He is one of the most experienced uh, creatives in digital with over 30 years of experience. And then we have Matthias Maurer from Laret. Um, his offices are in Berlin and Hamburg. Then from London, we have invited Tim Melbourne. Uh, he has not an agency, real agency background. He's more a uh, computer guy, technician. So it's very interesting to hear from him his view on the business models on the agencies. Then, same as Martin Gassner, Mike John Otto from High res He's also a very highly awarded ADC member. And um, High res for those of you who don't know it, it's, I think, one of the coolest agencies with offices in New York, London, Hamburg, and Berlin. And last but not least, uh, Thorsten Sharpman from Deep Blue Networks, also with worldwide offices, uh, even in Moscow. So that was the first slot. The second slot at 3.30, also in the creative room next door, is about people power. Like we have come from um, social business or social media to social business. And we thought it is very interesting to look at emerging markets, to really look there where you have huge, huge, huge consumer groups. So we will focus on the BRIC countries and with a particular focus on China. Um, so, yeah, that's what I just said, emerging market case studies we will have. It's going to be also about open innovation platforms and consumer participation. And the keywords for that track are social, uh, social, social non-digital and social digital. Our first speaker in the slot, like the second slot, the China slot, is uh, composed with three speakers. It's Will Samson from the Contagious magazine. Uh, it's one of the best magazines, I think, in the creative scene. It's only four times a year. <laughs> and he will give us an overview about emerging markets, the BRIC countries, social and non-social. Um, then, as a second speaker, I'm really happy because it's the first time, I think, that they speak in Europe. It's the People's Car Project by Volkswagen. I think I'm not allowed to say how much money it was spent uh, in this case, but um, it's to an extent that we can't even imagine in Europe. Um, and uh, with that case, they have won all the prices from Spex Asia 
and I think it's the first time that they show this case in Europe. And it's a crowdsourcing um, project, and it could be that in some years, everybody of you will find in a Volkswagen maybe a steering wheel or a little piece that comes from the People's Car project. Since I like this project so much, I brought some more pictures, like this is from the campaign from People Power. And uh, this project is presented, it's quite funny because we are going to look to China, but it's uh, presented by Sven Jon. He's uh, based in Berlin from Green Cairn, and the man behind the project is Georg Wager. Uh, he's Austrian, but he lives and works in China. And um, the project is called Morphing the People's Car Project. So this is the second talk in the slot at 3.30. And last but not least, we're going to look at the women's market in China. Um, the talk is called Women Over 30, What Makes Them Click, What Makes Them Tick. Um, the women's market in China is quite interesting because what there you have women over 30 would be here in Europe women over 40. Because like regarding their income, their um, expectations with marriage and so on, is what we have here over 40 is in China over 30. And you can imagine how interesting it is to tap in such a market for a brand. The specialist for this talk is Alexander Shapiro. He um, also worked before in Germany, comes from um, the US, now lives and works in China. And um, he is going to yeah, deep into the women's market in China. So, and let me come to the third slot of the creative track. There you have to um, take a hard decision because it's, a, it's at the same time than the China project. It's going to be here in the main hall. It's developing new tools. We're going to go to a right artistic view on that, and it's the pure motto of post-digital. Uh, in the post-digital age, digital is not, um, is, has become a tool where people can, product, um, pr can produce products cheaper, smaller, and interconnected. And uh, like this is a quiet renaissance since the Middle Ages that everybody can do it yourself, everybody, everyone can become an inventor. And we're going to look at quite cool projects that you can find in MoMA that, you, that were introduced at TED Global and so on. Uh, we are going to look at body interfaces and at open source tools. So um, this session, if you want to find out what this um, <laughs> what this really means, I just see the cat, and this is not a mouse up there. This slot is going to be presented by Jeremy Abbott. Jeremy Abbott was last year one of the most Twittered about speakers of Next Conference. And uh, he's, he does all this cool stuff with 3D printers and so on. So the object up there in the middle is one of this. And he's, he has an agency background, but still at the same time exhibits at MoMA San Francisco and so on, a real cool guy. Then our second speaker in the last slot is about uh, 3D scanning, and they do it re reverse. Like post-digital is what you can do from digital and really turn it back into the real life. It's Carl McDonald. We invited him. He came over from the US. And um, he has a background in philosophy, technology, and then he's a real artist, I would say. And last but not least, I'm so happy that we finally have a female speaker on stage, so this is not just an image. I don't know if it's her legs. <laughs> um, so uh, our last speaker, uh, Kate Hartman, uh, she will speak about On the Body. She's a professor in Canada and uh, has also an amazing background. Uh, her objects are in the study exhibition of the MoMA in New York. And um, she has all these applications where the body can interact and communicate. I don't know if anybody of you knows um, this uh, tool that she did, that plants, if they need water, they can Twitter or call their owners. Bi Biotonicals was that project. She really does cool stuff. So where is her? I also wanted to show her. No, this does not work. Can anybody put the slideshow forward, please? Because I also wanted to show Kate. But I mean, we are almost finished anyway. So this was the uh, third speaker of the track here. Just to summarize, 1.30, you have the agency panel in the room next door. 
You have at um, 3.30, you have the China slot where we are going to look in emerging markets. And at the same time, you're going to have here on main stage developing new tools with 3D interfaces and so on. Thank you.